Max and I are so glad to get to spend time together with you today. We hope everyone's doing super awesome and we hope that you have some exciting news to share from your house. Is anything going on? Um, at school, our pumpkin, our baby pumpkin is about this large now. It's about this big and it's, we're really excited about it. It's growing every day. Hey, if you have exciting news to share, you share that with us too, okay? So Max wants to go ahead and check his schedule so we can get started. The first thing we're gonna do today is calendar time. Mm -hmm. When calendar time is finished, it'll be time for center time. And when center time is finished, it'll be time to say goodbye. So let's do it. Let's do a body check, okay? Put your listening ears in. Mm -hmm. Put your looking eyes in. Mm -hmm. Put your brain in. Mm -hmm. We are ready to learn, learn, learn. So the first thing we want to do is calendar time. So I need something to make the smart board work. Do you remember what I need? The remote. Let me turn it on. Okay. And let's get ready to start. There it is. Hey, let's talk about our month, okay? So we know that the month is October. The month is October. In October, we've been learning about a tree. Uh -huh. This is a fall tree because the leaves change colors and then they fall to the ground. After a while, there will be no leaves on the tree. No leaves on the fall tree. More and more leaves will be on the ground. Okay. Yesterday was Monday. Monday is finished. Today is Tuesday. And now we have 13 days in October. 13 days in October. And we know now we're in the middle of the month. Ooh, we're in the middle of the month. Wow, there's so many things happening in October. It's making the days go by very quickly. Hey, we also know, let's just make sure we remember this information, that the season is fall. The season is fall, and that's the season where the leaves start changing colors and they go where? On the ground. Also, the mornings start to get cooler. Yeah, and the nighttime starts to get cooler. I heard that this week on Friday, it's gonna be really cool. We might need a sweater. Oh yeah, we might need a sweater so we can stay warm. We wear sweaters or jackets when it is cool. <laughs> hey Max, come on over and check the schedule. We know that calendar time is finished. Now it's time for center time. And today at center time, we want to learn about a place. And this is a place that actually we see a lot around where we live. And it's a place where there are lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of trees. A lot of trees. Not just one tree or five trees. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of trees. So many trees. It's a place called a forest. Whoa, do you see all of the trees? There's a lot of trees. I see the trunks and the green part at the top. That's a lot of trees. I know that that is a forest. Uh-huh. It's a forest. This man right here, he's walking in the forest. Wow. These trees are a different type of tree. They're called a pine tree. And they're an evergreen. That means they stay green all year round. They're special pine needles. They stay on the tree. They're going to stay green all the time. Yeah. Let me show you some parts of a pine tree. A pine tree has pine needles on it. Yeah, pine needles. 
they're different than the leaves that are falling to the ground. They're kind of scratchy, ooh, and prickly. They kind of prick your skin. They kind of, oh, ow, ow, ow. It's pine needles. Yeah. They can smell really good too. I love to smell pine needles. It makes me think of the forest. Oh, wow. They're scratchy and rough. Oh, ow, they're prickly. Oh, yeah. Something else that's on a pine tree. Pine cones. Have you ever found these on the ground under a pine tree? Yeah. It's a pine cone. And it really is scratchy. It can prick your finger. Poke, poke. Ow, poke, poke. You do not want to step on these barefooted. I know how that feels because I have done it before. Ow, ow. You do not want to step on these with no shoes on. Ow, ow. So the pine cone and the pine needles, they are on a pine tree. And it has the trunk. And then the pine needles are up at the top. The shape of it looks like a triangle. A lot of times, there's a lot of pine trees in the forest. And when you walk into the forest and you smell them, it smells so fresh. Ah, it's a very special smell. I wish we can make it smell on our computers and on our YouTube and on our videos. <laughs> you could smell a real pine tree. So today we're learning about a place called a forest. And a forest is a lot of trees all together. It's a place for trees and animals to live. One type of tree in the forest is a pine tree. It has pine needles at the top. Yes. And it has pine cones. Mm -hmm. I have a book right here and it's going to give us a close look. Let's take a look. I want to find the right page. Here is what this looks like. <gasps> yeah. It says up close they look like giant green sticks but they're thin as needles. They are the needles of a pine tree. Some trees like this white pine have long, narrow leaves called needles. Some trees drop all of their leaves and fall. Most trees with needles do not lose their leaves all at once. They are called evergreen. Hey, we use that word because they always stay green. Wow. Today at your house, I want you to make the parts of a pine tree. It has a trunk at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then at the top, remember, it looks like a triangle. I used my scissors to go cut, 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 to make it look like it had pine needles all over it. Yeah. If you have any pine needles or a fork, you could dip it into paint and you could paint your pine tree. Yeah. Wow. We first need to make a learn about a forest because later this week we're going to learn about the animals that live in the forest. And then we're going to learn what can you do in the forest. Ha! Huh. So I'm so glad that today we're learning about the trees in the forest. Yeah. Um, on our canvas, I'm also going to include a video where it looks like you're walking through the forest and you can see a lot of cool animals and plants in the forest. It is an amazing video. I think you're going to really love it. It's going to make you think that you're in a forest right now. I can't wait to show you. So today, guys, we're learning about a place 
we're learning about a forest. And in the forest, there are trees, special trees called pine trees, and they have pine needles on them. Mm -hmm. And those leaves stay on the tree. They don't fall down like fall leaves. And pine trees have pine cones. And one word to describe pine cones and pine needles is, ooh, scratchy, ow. So today, I can't wait to see you make trees in a forest, okay? So I can't wait to see it, and we're gonna need this so that we can build a special place for trees and animals to live, okay? So Max, come on over and check our schedule. At center time today, we learned about a new place. We learned about a forest, and we learned about pine trees. Center time is finished. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Have a great day pretending that you're in the forest. See you tomorrow.